This video is going to give you everything you ever needed to rank first on Google with chat GPT content. Not only that, but this is the fastest way to get ranking. Let me just show you some evidence of that. So I'm going to show you this blog post right here. What's the difference between a sport coat, blazer and a suit coat? This was written on September the 8th, 2023. Today is September the 10th, 2023. Let's see how it's currently ranking. We can see it got 16 impressions on its first day, but I actually think it, there's probably more than that. And then if I put dates, uh, pew recent, pew most recent date, sorry, I'm speaking Italian slash English at the same time. You can see we're already getting clicks. We're already getting impressions. Let's just do one more test. This one was written a little bit before, but it's actually a very, very well, it's the same method pretty much. This one is also getting impressions. We've got five impressions right here for blue suit combinations. Let's just write that on Google and see where iSuit is. It's not on the first page, but this is Italy, not in the US. So yeah, you get the idea. This is ranking very, very quickly. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that in this video. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to be on GPT-4 and you want to be on data analysis. This is not 100% necessary. It depends on the type of article that you're going to be writing, whether this is necessary. The next thing you want to do is you want to set up your custom instructions. Now I'll leave my custom instructions in the description, but I do change one thing every single time, which is at the bottom. Okay. So from probably, let me just turn on uh, editing. So from here, for example, this is where I change things. Okay. So you need to change our sports, our sports coats don't exist. We have only a category for blazers but you can still use sports coats as anchor text. And then I gave all of these and said, these are all of the brands we sell uh, sports coats or blazers from. And then these are all of the fabrics that we have for sports blazers. This is now all the information that ChatGPT needs to create internal links. I'll leave this in the description. All you have to do is input your own information here. I am telling ChatGPT how to make the internal links instead of just giving it a massive list of internal links. This will only work if you have a uniform system of linking. Now, once you've got your custom instructions and um, this isn't too complicated, just read what I have here and just input your own information. Don't change any of this information here, except uh, obviously you are writing for iSuit, put your company here, tell ChatGPT a little bit about your company, and then create your internal linking structure instead of my internal linking structure. This one at the bottom, you don't have to change anything, just include this as well, and then hit save. Once the, I'll, I'll leave all of that in the description, by the way, guys. Once this is set up, the next stage of this is to find a keyword. Now, you know that there are millions of ways to find keywords, obviously, but I'm gonna show you the way that I am currently using to find all of these keywords, and they are juicy, juicy keywords, okay? Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to find a good website that has a good setup that's getting good traffic in your niche. Now, there will be one. You just have to find the one that is making the most money. And Suits Expert is a niche affiliate website that's doing incredibly well in our niche. And it's a perfect place for me to take keywords from. So once you're on Google Ads Keyword Planner, click start with a website here. We need to put English, obviously put whatever language you're focusing on, and then we'll just control V. We're going to get rid of Italy. Um, we're going to do United States. You could also do other countries, United Kingdom, whatever it might be. And then I'm just going to press get results. Now I've shown this process a lot. I just wanted to have a video that showed you my exact process without any mistakes or anything like that. And this is my current best way to rank on Google as well. What I like to do is I like to click on three month change. I like to scroll down to the like number percent change. I've just seen an amazing keyword right here. Men's fall suits. This is going to be the article that I write tomorrow. This is an amazing keyword for us. But basically, you just keep scrolling down until you find something useful. And the other day, what I found was a sports coat. So modern fit sports coat, black sports coat, slim sports coat. They're all really, really good. This is the one I actually found though. Men's blazer and sports coats. So now go on Google and search for that exact keyword and then find the website that we are using. So I'm just going to write suits expert just to make it pop up because it should be a little bit easier. 
Now, this is the article that we're going to be using. You can do that. You can just write the business after. It doesn't really matter. So this is going to be the article that we're going to take the SEO from, et cetera, et cetera. But you might want to do one more step for this, which is just to check whether this article is going to be uh, is going to rank on Google or not. So the way that you can do that is you can use Ahrefs. This is an optional step here. You don't have to do this. You can just trust the method, trust the process. But what I like to do is I like to check quickly if this has a lot of keywords. So this only has 614 keywords. But if I find, if you just go and you type in um, sports coat versus blazer, for example, then you can find another article like this one right here, Tom James. And you can see here it has 4 thousand organic keywords so this is also perfectly fine to do if you find a better competitor there is nothing wrong with using their article instead of the article that we were going to use okay so that's the process you can see here this article is incredibly short maybe only 500 600 words and it's got bloody loads of traffic coming to it so this for me is a perfect keyword and it's also a sign that i shouldn't make the article too long or too crazy okay the next stage of this is going to be using Harper AI to get the information from this article. So we do that by clicking the Harper AI button right here and then pressing basic mode to put it page aware. And then I say, can you give me an outline with all of the necessary information to write a good article in this niche? Also give me all of the keywords from this article. So then what I like to do while that's doing that is I like to check the keyword again, but this time just the keyword. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the actual keyword that we used to find this article right here. So let's go back in Google. Uh, what did I type? Sports coat versus blazer. And because I like to show people free methods, I am going to be using Google Ads Keyword Planner, but you could also use Ahrefs for this. Basically, what we're doing is we're getting any spare keywords that there might be. So actually, we need to remove this as well and just press get results. This will give you a huge list of keywords. Okay. Another thing you need to do as well is you need to search it on Google and you need to see these right here. So you can click some of these to give you even more. That's a good one. Can I wear a sports coat with jeans? Perfect. Can I wear a hoodie with a sports coat? Why not? This is like 15 questions, okay? So you can kind of see what I'm doing right here. I'm building the article like from bottom down, from scratch down, basically. So now we have keywords, now we have an outline, and now we have potential questions that we can ask ChatGPT to answer. So now we have pretty much everything. Let's talk about the actual process of putting all of this information into ChatGPT. So, hi, I want to write an article today. Um, I am going to give you information one prompt at a time. Do not, this is the most important part. This is the game changing part. Do not start writing until I say, let's go chat GPT. Do you understand? This is my personal prompting method. I found this that works insanely well. Okay. So step by step, we're going to feed it information. So first we're going to give it the, um, the outline okay so we'll give this the outline and then what I'm gonna say is here's the outline for the article please talk about ice suit instead of uh, whatever's mentioned here which is Tom James Tom James do you understand and then enter uh, shift enter twice and then control V press enter this will now store the information into ChatGPT. Okay, that's the first part. And then we're gonna click here, oh, sorry, here. 161 keywords, that's fine. So we'll copy that and say, here's, here's the most important and highest traffic earning art, uh, keywords to try to include to increase SEO. Do you understand? and control V again, it will store that information and it will not start writing because I have not said, let's go chat GPT. And then the final stage of this is to grab these right here and say, here's some questions from Google. 
which people ask about this topic. Please try to include some of them to increase relevancy. Do you understand? Question mark. Control V. And then the final thing that I personally like to do, which I've been talking a lot about recently, and this is working incredibly well for me, is I like to tell it to put kind of a summary of everything at the very top of the article, but not a table of contents. This helps increase the amount of time people are on the page for. So at the very top of the article, I'd like you to create a brand uh, and then like a line brand information table and internally link all the brands using the internal linking system I gave you. Do you understand? Press enter. Absolutely, I understand the brand information, blah, blah, blah. Now, one thing before we start is if I go on custom instructions, I've already told it which brands to actually talk about, okay? This is an essential part of the process. You can do this in custom instructions or you can do it via prepping. It's completely up to you. I prefer to do it in custom instructions because it seems to just work a lot better. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it the magic words, which is let's go chat GPT. You can also say things like, uh, please don't forget or please remember to do this or that. I'm gonna trust it this time and uh, I'm gonna just say, let's go chat GPT and press enter. Now it should write a really, really good article uh, with all of the information needed. So as you can see, that's literally exactly what it's doing. So Cesare Attolini, Neapolitan Tailoring, perfect. Kired, Innovation and Outerwear, perfect. Kiton, the best of the best, amazing. It's already doing a really, really good job and all of these internal links will actually be internal links to my website that will actually work. Now, one thing it's done here is it says keywords to keep an eye on, which is a little bit annoying. You wouldn't really want that. So we would have to edit that manually, but that's okay. And then you can see it's given another little table here, which is when to wear a sports coat, which I love. Absolutely amazing. What makes a sports coat? What is a blazer? Wow, this is actually amazing. Defining a suit coat. Again, absolutely perfect. And then it's just added a little FAQ at the bottom. This is the kind of content that will rank really, really, really well on Google. It's got a good mix of different pieces of content. It's also managed to do internal links to other pages instead of just the um, just the brands here. So this is really, really good already. You will have to edit this a little bit, but I'm going to show you how to do that. But before I do that, like I said at the beginning, make sure you're on code interpreter. And I'm going to say, can you give me some data visualizations for this article, which can help me rank on Google? And then I'm going to press enter. I'm going to see if it can come out up with anything useful. While it's doing that, I'm going to press copy on the article and we're going to take it to markdown to html.com. Control A, Control V. And then we're just going to start deleting things from the article that aren't good. So keywords to keep an eye on, we can change to um, key terms um, to understand. And another thing you could do is you could then ask ChatGPT to define all of these for people if you wanted. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Let's see what else we need to remove. Let's see. Quick tips is fine. FAQs is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Call to action at the bottom. Not what we want because it just looks a little bit weird. What you need to do is put a call to action, basically. And then I did notice as well something else that was wrong, which was the link to iSuit is going to designer iSuit, which doesn't exist. So let's just find that real quick. There we go. And I'll just change this uh, internal link, basically, to a internal link of just the home page which should increase traffic to the homepage eventually as well. Okay, that's pretty much perfect now. And you would just add your products, which is how I add everything. I also, what I like to do is I like to make a very, very quick uh, thing on Canva. Okay, so while I'm doing this, ideas for data visualizations, I'm just gonna say, give me your best data visualizations. It's basically told me that it can do some, but it doesn't know what to make. So I'm just saying, give me your best ones. So I actually have a system to make my featured images. And on Magento, they're 577 by 410. So that's just what I use. What I do is I duplicate this one that I've already made. I remove the background image and I just get one of our images. But obviously, we have professional photographers. So obviously, it's a little bit of an advantage for me. So what is this article? It's uh, sports coats versus blazers versus 
suit coats. And then all you need to do is just find a picture of, you know, a sports coat or something and put it in. So what I could do is I could use our product images. So let's click this and then just, no, we don't want to add that. Let's remove the background. And then we'll just put a color here and then that'll do, to be honest with you. So let's put yellow or something. Looks terrible, perfect. <laughs> okay, so this is an example of what you could do. Or if you've got professional photographers like us, you can also do something like this, which is the exact image that is being used for this article on the website. So there we go. We now have some data right here. This one right here looks really, really good. It's probably completely made up, but that's fine. Doesn't really matter. Trend in sales over the years. Uh, this is potentially true, actually, because basically what's happened in fashion is suits have gone out of fashion and they're being replaced with sports coats and blazers being worn with jeans or slacks or whatever it might be. So this one right here is actually a really, really good graph that I could definitely include. And then the rest of them have completely failed, but that's fine. So what you can do, save image as. Uh, we'll say data about sports coats versus blazers .png. And now we also have a completely unique piece of data imagery that we could use in our article. Now, this isn't the best necessarily, but it will definitely help the ranking. You can put this in the article wherever you want. And then the final thing I like to do is embed the images of the products using either Magento or Shopify, depending on what you use. That's going to be it, guys. I hope this helps you rank on Google. I hope this helps you make some money online. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Sorry, one. I keep doing this, but one more thing. Do not take the, uh, do not copy and paste like this, okay? You need to take the raw HTML. The reason for that is because if not, the internal links will actually be internal links to Markdown to HTML instead of being internal links to iSuit. Dot it. The reason for that is because it's just the nature of relative internal links. Relative internal links take uh, whatever website you're on and make it into an internal link. So you need to take the raw HTML because if you look, the raw HTML is actually um, correct. It's uh, the slash en designer slash barbanapoli, for example. Okay, peace out.